Hey there, Louis Ocabellis here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to compare two Microsoft Word documents using Microsoft Word's compare function. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft tutorials. Now, to compare two documents, um, what you want to do is you want to open your Microsoft Word and it could be either a new document or one of the documents. And then you want to click on the review ribbon at the top of the Microsoft Word interface. Next, you want to go ahead and click on the compare button. And then you want to go ahead and click on compare again. Next, you want to go ahead and select the first version of a document that you would like to compare. So the original document. And to do that, you want to go ahead and click on the folder icon and look for your document. In this case, I am going to be comparing version one of this document with version two. And so version one is my original document. So I'm going to click on it. Uh, and then you want to go ahead and select the revised document. So you want to click on the folder icon and find the second version or the revised document, in this case, version two. Now you'll notice when I select the second version of my document or the revised document, I have the option to label the changes with a name. Uh, now I'm just going to change this to my initial so I can easily identify changes made in the revised document. Now, if I wanted to swap these, I could easily do that by clicking on this button here. Uh, and you can see clicking on it is going to make the most recent version, the original and the previous version, the revised document. Now I'm just going to put it back to uh, the way I had it originally. Now, next you want to go ahead and click on the more button. And essentially what this is going to do is this is going to bring up the comparison settings. So these are the settings that describe what kind of comparisons will be made between your original and revised documents. Okay, so you want to review these and go ahead and check and uncheck the ones that you would like to be included in the comparison. And so I am going to have the comparison look for any different comments made in the two versions of this document. Um, I'm also going to leave case changes on. So if something was made um, uppercase or lowercase, I'd like to see that. Uh, I'm also going to have tables, headers and footers, text boxes and fields uh, included in this comparison. Next, you want to go ahead and set your show changes. And here you have the option of either showing changes at a character level. Okay, so every individual character um, would be included in the comparison if you checked character level, or if you wanted to have the comparison only focus on changes in entire cases or words, you can go ahead and select word level. And the last option here is whether or not you want to show changes in the original document, the revised document, or a new one. Um, I prefer to have the changes display in a new document, uh, and this is going to actually show you the new document as well as the original and revised side by side so you can easily identify the changes. Now, once you've finished setting all of the different options here in the comparison settings and the show changes settings, you want to go ahead and click OK. And here you go. You are now going to um, see the comparison between the two documents. Now, first thing you'll note is the compare results. So this comparison was actually put into a new document, okay? Uh, and this is the compared document here on the main pane. And to the right of this, you'll see the original document called version one, and you'll see the revised document called version two. So you can see that uh, for the most part, these documents are the same with except for some minor differences. Now, when you come into the compared document, you are going to see um, new content underlined. So if you've ever used track changes, it's displayed the exact same way. Uh, additions will be underlined and deletions will be uh, stricken through here. So you can see uh, in version two, I added in this tutorial and I deleted two Microsoft Word documents and replaced it with the number two and a lowercase w in the word word uh, and a lowercase d in the word documents. Uh, and then in the second line, I also replace the word two with the number two and I replace the ampersand with the actual full spelling of the word end.
So that's it. This was just a quick tutorial showing you how to use the Microsoft Word compare feature. Very handy, very useful uh, for quickly comparing two different versions of documents and being able to identify key differences between them. Now, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please be sure to hit the thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft tutorials. I'm Louis Yacobelis. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.